morning of fishing. Uh, we uh, only probably hooked about six or so and landed a couple. My uh, Versa Spay, it's uh, probably too big of a gun for the job. It's a 910 weight. Next time I'd probably try a, a switch rod, something lighter. And what about your reel? Yeah, I got the waterworks as you can see. Uh, what were some of the challenges? Uh, you said two for six today. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Maybe they had the soft mouth, uh, the Steely said the soft mouth just like the whitefish, but they'd have them on for a few kicks and then they were off. What about conditions out here? How's the river looking? Very low, very clear, nice weather for end of November. Pretty much perfect, I guess. So here we are, early morning, getting up bright and early, heading out to another fishing spot, going for some fall slash winter steelhead, and going that extra mile. You know, people say that if you want to get to the untouched waters, places where people haven't been there uh, this year or in a while, um, you got to go that extra distance, so about a two hour drive this morning um, just to, to hopefully get to some water that uh, is untouched. Those steelhead haven't seen any flies or gear in quite a while. So yeah, we're going above and beyond making that extra effort, uh, driving through some uh, difficult road conditions. We've got some snow coming down, uh, icy roads as well. But uh, that's what steelheaders do, going out to, uh, to make that extra effort to find that uh, those places, those special places where Um, you know, can you even uh, you know, walk across this river and go side to side? You know, what are the gravel bars like? What, what kind of flies? You know, does it have swimming water? So all kinds of things to take into consideration today on this uh, this journey. And uh, so yeah, we're both excited about uh, hitting new water. You know, anytime you go to a new spot, it, uh, you kind of get goosebumps when you get closer, get excited, and uh, just not knowing what to expect. And, uh, having these uh, high expectations of uh, getting into some, some nice fish. So, yeah. Any expectations about uh, what's going to happen today as far as uh, steelhead? Well, I'm just happy to be here. I love, like Rob said, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out to new places I've never been before. So that's the majority of the excitement. And then once we get there, then it's gonna. The reality is, is we got to try and catch some fish, and I'm excited about that. So, yeah, I'd love to get into a couple fish today. But even even if I get one, I'll, I'll be happy today. So, what's your uh, gear selection or fly selection today? Any uh, things you're thinking of using or trying today? What's kind of going to be your uh, method of attack or uh, process in, in, in pulling these uh, exotic steelhead? Well. I'm going to start off with what I know best and that's swinging with the spay, spay rod. Um, but I'm thinking because the uh, where we're fishing is going to be a smaller river, there might be some nice slots where maybe an indicator and a trout bead might be the ticket. So I plan on trying both and I would love to catch one on the trout bead because I've never done that before. So we just got into my uh, second fish of the day. Uh, pretty much, I don't know, couldn't have been more than five casts after the, uh, the first fish. This might have been the female, um, paired up with the male a lot fresher. Uh, this one maybe a bit more of a fight as well. Um, but yeah, great just to get uh, two fish that quick, be out here, uh, plus two or three degrees. A river, very remote river, nobody around. I doubt anyone's fish this river for a while, but uh, you never know. Um, fresh grizzly tracks uh, in the snow as well. So head up and uh, I hope we bear and any uh, rustling in the bushes and uh, yeah hopefully uh, we get into a few more and uh
day. Uh, we uh, kind of set out our expectations at the beginning of the day and uh, exceeded those. Uh, also that was great to see on a brand new river. And uh, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything else. We had great weather for the time of year and got into a lot of fish, a lot of good quality fish as well. So yeah, now we're off to another uh, adventure.